I started uh, Green Gold in 2001 and uh, started with four employees yeah. and I was 26 and a half when I started and I really had no, uh, I would say that I didn't know what I was going to get into. So if I had known, maybe I don't know if it would be a different yeah. story. So I went from, uh, I was, uh, I'm, sti I'm still known for getting into trouble <laughs> always, uh, but I have been getting into trouble every three months, six months with the company. There were at least a dozen instances that the company could have sh been shut in the first uh, four, three, four years of operation. I partnered with, or I worked with the clients who never, uh, I mean, or at least never paid the money they promised. So as a studio, it was a uh, heavy survival thing when we had to pay salaries on time and we struggled a lot. Uh, for seven years, that is from 2001 to 2008, we were uh, struggling to pay salaries, we were struggling to pay rents and everything. A majority of the time, uh, we, the, our office was uh, in my old office, so we were saving on overhead. Yeah. For seven, eight years, I never took even one rupee from the company. Uh, I, uh, so, uh, we survived. So, we, we made sure the people, are, the employees are taken care and the good ones are retained. Yeah. Uh, so, there was a long struggle story till Chota Beam happened. Yeah. And when Chota Beam happened, everything for us changed and although Chota Beam went on air in 2008 we were never a, a profit making company till 2011 that is from 2008 to 2011 were a transition phase where we started recovering our losses from 2011 onwards we made this business model work and that's when we started seeing success and we built a fort around Beam that is a fort of merchandising fort of licensing and these other things uh, Again, what is interesting is that no animation studio in the world has survived over 50 years. But the TV stations have, the corporates have, the software companies have. So it's a very big challenge for a studio to survive and use. it's very difficult. You have to be innovative all the time. Yeah. You have to change with market, you have to change with uh, technology. Yeah. You have to be up to date on everything. You have to be very alert. Your observing skills have to be at the top. When we were pitching to channels pre Chota Beam, no, uh, no one was sure what we said would work. Yeah. Post Chota Beam, whatever show we make, people are taking us seriously. That's always a great help. Yeah. So we're never out of work. You know, once you make, in, thanks to this industry, that once you make one big hit, no matter what you make, it'll get sold. I mean, at least you make it decently, what I mean to say. So for that, the opportunities are never going to exhaust. Yeah once you have a successful show. So the good things uh, about uh, post beam era for us is that if, if you're short of work, we just have to make a few calls. Sure. We have to make new pitch, new ideas, and we have to pitch, and it happens. Yeah. People take us seriously, we, uh, and of course we value our word, what we say we have to do. And see, uh, when we made beam, we released beam, we realized that this show has a potential to become a blockbuster, Immediately, we released the comics. Yeah. We didn't wait to see the market reaction. Yeah. We went with our gut feeling, we need to take comic books of Beam uh, to the public. So yeah. today we have over 100 comics of Beams, and that keeps the interest of public going. As we got thousands of letters from children, uh, parents of young children saying that, my daughter has never read a book, but this is the first book she has ever picked, this Chota Beam book. And same thing with the sons and everything. Uh, Beam has been uh, inspirational for a lot of young children and yeah. toy, uh, for us also. And when we saw that it has become a phenomenon in a short period, we also started taking ourselves seriously. And now we have taken more care for the script. I mean, we just can't make Beam do anything stupid. We have to. We have become. Uh, it become a brand, so we have to make him behave in a certain manner because whatever is done by Beam is, uh, is copied by so many children. Yeah. I mean, initially we had a few episodes where he fights the bull, he beats up the bull. Yeah, you we just had, we removed it because we felt, I mean, that we are setting a wrong example. I mean, if a kid goes and hits a bull, I think we will be, <laughs> he will be in trouble. So, so we changed all these things. Uh, we learnt a lot from this thing. And honestly speaking, uh, we never knew what we were getting into it. Yeah. And when we keep hearing like seminars, forums like this, when we know 
people uh, appreciate what we have done it really feels nice uh, i know the entire uh, the guys the team of abai and they've been uh, i know them for years so they uh, invited me to come over this time and uh, on, uh, obviously i agreed immediately to come and uh, the leadership award was a surprise to me and uh, was i'm glad i came <laughs> I think all of them. Yeah. One, one. Uh, I'm a veteran of the industry now, uh, and all of these guys I know from long time. So first thing is deja vu for us when we we meet these guys. We talk about the days when we were struggling, yeah. how we used to take the second class train tickets or the bus tickets to go somewhere. Uh, so these are all great things to talk about, and also the uh, we we like to inspire each other uh, and. Ev like i mentioned in my presentation that the industry has matured today and everyone wants to learn from each other so more than i don't know how many people will learn from me but i am learning a lot already from this thing there are a lot of interesting sessions i would i'm looking forward to attend and also whatever people want from us we want to give them thing and we want to inspire people to make the industry successful uh, there is one beam today but we want more successful shows out of india and we want india as an industry to be the best in the world i yes i remember my first nascom set in hyderabad and some of the guys are the same people there on the stage like birain ashish kulkarni these were the guys on the stage and i was inspired and i really wanted to be on the stage at that time i mean obviously by proving my metal yeah. so it really inspired and uh, because what you, you places like this you get to hear priceless wisdom what people have gone struggle and see uh, a person who's starting new may he may be thinking that he is the only guy who's struggling and he may think that is not good enough yes. but the reality is that everyone has gone through struggle i mean without struggle there is no, you cannot win so so this is the forums help in that and i mean uh, even for me i would give credit to such forums that we are here today not only uh, local things we have also gone to international forums to hear this thing and that have greatly inspired us to not be afraid and jump uh, it's always safer to do a known story than an unknown story uh, but if you really see the talk is a lot about mythology but the shows are not so much on mythology if you have seen few krishna series or rama in the initial stages that is a natural transition it's always for a new company it's always good to stick with a story like krishna yeah. than with something like a chota bhim chota bhim is not about mahabharat at all it is a completely independent storytelling so it's always less risky because by then you have learned all the techniques uh, of animation you know how to produce a show yeah. then you focus on storytelling yeah. so mythology is part deep roots into indian culture storytelling and everything and they also say i mean i mean all the stories that can ever be told have been told in mahabharata i mean uh, it's or indian mythology so we just need to adapt them to modern times and present to children so they can be connect with that so mythology is always going to be the great source of inspiration for all these new age writers or creators uh, i love uh, lion king actually uh, i'm inspired greatly by lion king Uh, besides uh, lion king jungle book was my favorite what walt disney made uh, these two have inspired me to a great extent jungle book was my first uh, movie that i ever watched as a 5 year old uh, recently i have loved uh, incredibles uh, in yeah. disney the incredibles and tarzan also is my favorite uh, show i think government should give some hand holding which now is happening in in terms of abai or there are similar things happening in uh, state of kerala state of andhra pradesh uh, there are uh, laws be, people have been requested for the it ministry to pass some laws to help this industry especially it is essential especially the hand holding in initial stages especially the incubation things are the need of the hour for this industry you a businessman cannot run this neither a creative guy can run the animation studio how do you make this successful that is the biggest challenge if you give it to business man he will mess it up in 5 days if you 
give a creative guy same thing he will do because a creative guy doesn't know how to uh, make other people happy keep them uh, so i think you need a blend of these two skills to succeed so th again these things happen with forums like this support like that where people talk about things and again an animation is the most difficult thing to be in why because you need to understand uh, music sound uh, photography or let's uh, uh, fauna and flora the human body physics how it falls how, everything you have to do in a movie somebody jumps into a swimming pool how much water will splash is automatic you don't need to think about that but when we make an uh, uh, beam jump into water we need to see how much water it will puddle how do you do that we have to if an egg breaks in a movie scene it's automatic but here we have to see an egg break and then do it so we have to put pretty much geometry because of the locations we do uh, i mean the mathematics comes because of the timing we do uh, i mean when walk my hand moves how many seconds it moves all these things come arithmetic comes into picture physics uh, uh, biology everything uh, so there's so much we need to be a jack of all trades and that's almost impossible